Hello again, this is Homa from Homa Studio, and this is the first in a series of videos about Python Anywhere. And it's not just for using Python, that's what I used to use it for, I used it for Python, but then when I needed to use Turtles and a GUI, and I'm talking about for cloud-based, I ended up switching over to Replit. But when I taught an online database class, I needed to do something where students can share databases and can do SQL and things like that without having to download anything. So Python Anywhere ended up being a great option for that. And I just want to introduce it to you in this video, and then I'm going to go through a whole series of videos where I'll create an account and I'll create databases and I'll show you how to do everything in Python Anywhere and how to learn your way around. Now, this is the dashboard in Python Anywhere, and it's a free account. Just mention it's free, but you can only have two consoles open at one time. I have one console open right now, and it's a MySQL console. There's Bash consoles, MySQL consoles, and of course, Python consoles that you can work in. You have a files area, you have a database area that you can create databases, and there's also for Jupyter Notebook. I haven't used that yet, and I haven't done anything with web apps, but I'm just gonna focus on database stuff here. Now, in your files, let me just point this out. Now I have my console open in a different tab and it's always best to have different tabs open. So I'm going to go into files and just to point out here that you can create directories. So here's a database directory that I already created and here's files in here. I have SQL files, I have text files, anything you could put in here. You can upload files into here so it's really nice to use this especially again for free and especially if you're using it for education. Now just for example if I go into my console and I'll just clear this for a second just to just to get started. Now, what you can do in here is you can write queries. So I'm gonna just write a quick query. I'll just say select all from, I have a table named presidents in the database that I'm in because you can see I'm in presidents to database. It uses your username in the database name. So this is the table. So I'm just gonna do that. And here's a query with presidents and it has all 45 presidents in here. And if I have students that need to share this, this output from a console, that became a little bit of an issue because the console didn't stay on all the time. What you can do is you could kind of highlight a line here and then go all the way up to the top or wherever you need to go to and hold shift and click and it highlights everything. It doesn't do control A or command A for some reason. And then just copy it and then I can go back here to my files and I'm in my databases directory right now. I can create a new file just by going here. I called it sample console txt. I'll just make it a text file and I'll hit new file and then I'll just paste everything I did. So that way students could actually paste their stuff in here and then I know what their output was. So if they had any problem or whatever or their, their console closed, then they have evidence of what they did. And again, that's for, that's for education. You could use it for whatever you want and I'll save this right now. And speaking of students, if you're a teacher, you're an educator, one thing you can do is if you go an account, you can have your students obviously create a free account but if they go into this place called teacher, they can nominate you as a teacher. They just have to use your username and then you have access to all their files. So you don't have to worry about students trying to upload database files and especially if you're using something like AMP and WAMPs, which just didn't work for an online class. Python Anywhere was a, was a great option for that. So I'm gonna have some more videos coming up. I'm gonna start right from the beginning. I'm gonna create an account. I'll show you how to create a database and do SQL, all that kind of stuff, and show you how Python Anywhere is really a nice option for working with my SQL databases.